guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zania and this is Zania's Cravings. And today I am eating lobster tails with colossal shrimp. I got five lobster tails and I split them in half and broiled them with some seasonings and butter and lemon and I did the shrimp too. I didn't get the super colossal shrimp. Um, they're probably in my deep freezer somewhere, but I don't know, I buy too many bags of shrimps. I'm also going to be having, it was sassy ASMR sauce. I'm so excited, cause I bought the coldest water bottle, not sponsored or anything, but I've seen Stephanie Sue, I've seen Beast Mode, they all have this. And it works you guys, it really works. Sorry, I just put lipstick on it. It really works. It really does leave your water really cold. I hate warm water. Hate it. So, you should get one. All right, let's start eating. Just gotta get my sauce ready. Okay. What do I eat? What do I eat? I think I made the sauce really hot today. That's my big. I did make it really hot today. Here's a shrimp. Mm. How was everyone's day? My day was really good. It's Friday, so for me it is. Uh, so, so excited to have the weekend. And I spoiled myself with lobster tails and shrimp. Oh, look at that beauty. Look at that. Oh my. Mm. Well, like I said, I got them. I got five, cut them in half, and cooked them under the broiler. This is a delicious meal. Now, I want to tell you guys a story. About something that happened the, uh, about a week ago. <clears throat> so Christian was home. It was one of his days off. It's a work night for me. And I was not feeling good. So I took a bunch of NyQuil to go to sleep. And Luna was in the room with me. Well, I fall asleep. And Luna starts barking like a bark. Um, her bark was nothing I've ever heard of. Like nothing. And so I'm drowsy. Mind you, I'm still on this medicine. I'm like, oh, Christian will come in the room and he'll shut her up. Like, he'll see if she's okay. Because I was telling her to calm down, go to bed. There's nothing there. Well, a couple minutes goes by. There's Luna barking. And Christian doesn't come in the room. I was like, wow, this headphones must be really working. I don't know what's going on. He doesn't come into the room. I start freaking out. Um, and I check the time. It's like 12, 1230. I open my door. His chair is empty because I can see his... Get where he sits and plays the game, I can see him. 
It's empty. He's not there. But the game's on. Okay? He might be in the bathroom. The bathroom light is off, though. Uh, now I'm freaking out. I'm all groggy. Luna's like cautiously walking. I can't find Christian. So I call him. Don't hear his phone in the house. I was like, oh, maybe he went to get some food. You know him. Really late. He works overnight, so he's late night eating. His wallet's here. His, uh, but his keys are gone. I was like, okay. Where's Christian? Mind you, I'm not properly dressed. I went to sleep. I go get my robe. Now I start to panic. I'm afraid to open my bathroom door, and I'm afraid to open my bedroom door, and my house front door is unlocked. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, what's going on? I start to come to, I go back to the bedroom, put some clothes on, and I grab the knife by the side of my bed. And the reason why I keep a knife by the side of both of our beds is because I'm home alone majority of the time. Because uh, he works overnights, as you guys know. So, gotta protect myself. Well, I grab the knife, I open the bathroom door, nobody there. Open the bedroom, second bedroom door, nobody there. Calling, 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 calling. I'm freaking out. And here I am for a split second, a split second. I'm thinking, he's cheating. And I was like, no, 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 he's not cheating. He's not cheating. No, 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 no. Then I start panicking that, what if someone came in and kidnapped him? What if something happened? Uh, like someone knocked on the door and they just grabbed him and took him. So I was about to start pounding on everybody's door in the complex, like in our building. I'm freaking out. I'm still calling him. So I don't hear his phone. Calling, calling, calling. I open the door slowly because I'm nervous. And there's paper towels outside on in our hallway. And there's a red bucket. And it's filled with something that looks like it's red. Like an orange red. And I'm like, oh my God, is someone trying to clean up a crime scene? So I start freaking out. I run outside. My car is still there. So he's still in the vicinity. Okay. Where's Christian? So I'm about to like start freaking out. Mind you, I still have this giant knife with me. And I was like, okay, okay, I should put this knife down and I should go get a regular size, just little kitchen knife and walk outside. And I was going to walk to my mom's house and call the cops with Luna because I didn't want to be in my house. Something happened. Right when I put my jacket on, put my shoes on, grab a different size knife, I, Christian, I see Christian walking in through the double doors. And I'm just like, where were you? And he goes, I know, I know. Let me explain. Boy, you better explain. I almost called 911. I almost just fucking, excuse my language, ran up and, up and down these halls. Looking for you. So anyone want to know where Christian was? So someone, he heard while he was playing the game, someone trying to open our door. The handle shaking, the, the keys and everything. So he opens the door slowly. It's this drunk woman and this guy who's sober going, oh, I'm sorry, dude. She said this was her house. All these buildings look the same. And Christian's like, okay. She's like, sorry, she's hysterical. Because this woman is crying, apparently. Like, sorry, she's hysterical. She just lost someone. Someone very close to her committed suicide. And Christian's like, okay. Like, being us, 
or like, oh, this is a scam. Like, they gonna want us to open the door more. They're gonna kick the door open and they gonna come for us. Like, you know, give us a sob story. Until this woman pukes all over the rug in the hallway. And Christian's like, bro, oh, shit. So that's where the paper towels in the bucket comes in. Because he gives the paper towels to the guy. And the guy starts, and he gives him a bucket of hot water. And the guy starts cleaning the rug. But the girl's on the floor, like, laid out, limp, muscles. Like, she's just flaring on the floor crying. So he, we, Christian asked where she lived. And he said the building. And Christian's like, I'll, t I'll help you take her over there. So that's what he was doing. But on his way over there to her house, she puked again on the porch. And they were like, just drag, like, basically dragging this poor woman. Because she's not helping at all walking. She's just crying. She's gone. And. I'm just like, what? Like, what? You opened the door? You helped? Oh, you're too nice, that's what I said. So he brings her to the uh, their building. He leaves them outside the building, and she's about to peek again, so he just comes home, and that's when I see him. I threw out those paper towels. I threw out that bucket. I was like, I don't know what these people have. Luna was barking because she sensed that something was wrong. I was like, they could have killed you, Christian. They could have robbed you. <sighs> so I tell my mom, tell me what you would do in this his scenario. So I tell my mom the story. My mom, the first thing she says, which I didn't even think about, which I feel horrible about, is, did you go back the next day to see if that girl's still alive? And I was like, why? Why would I go back to see if this girl's still alive? She's like, how do you know the guy knew her? Really? Now I'm like paranoid, like, let's just go by her house and see if we see her. But he knows where the building she lives in. We don't know the house she lives in. She's okay, guys. We saw her in passing. But I wanna open that door. Mm-mm. We will not open that door. I mean, I would have opened it and be like, hello, and then I would have closed the door and be like, okay, bye. She puked. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry. We'll call me at news or something. Because that is my fear that someone's going to knock on my door and cry, do some sad stuff, and then kick the door open and kidnap us or steal our stuff, you know? <laughs> That was the crazy fiasco. I could not sleep that night at all. I was traumatized. Every time Luna barked a little bit, I was like, what happened? Or um, Christian will close the door because he's playing the game. He doesn't want it to be loud. I'll be like, are you okay? Are you still here? Like, I just told him, you need to come next, lay down next to me until I fall asleep because I am a nervous wreck. I think, I think you're going to just disappear. My heart sank, you guys. Sank. I thought he was dead. I was praying to God. I was like, please, please. I don't want it to be anything negative. Please. But we felt bad about that lady. Poor lady. Hmm. But has anything ever happened to you like that? Where someone just comes into your home or your front door and you're like, get thrown into their drama all of a sudden. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. So I put a little uh, bowl here so I can lift them up. Oh, guys. I don't want one that's too seasoned. Let me get this little one right here. So that was my little story time that I wanted to share with you guys. Have you ever had something like that where your heart sank and you're searching and searching? I've seen it with like parents losing their children and stuff like that, but 
imagine waking up and then your significant other or someone who lives with you is not there and they're supposed to be there and they've always are there and my car's still there traumatizing I told them never again that could have been a scam Well, I'm stuffed, you guys. I'm going to give these to my sister because she's here. And she's staring at me with Luna. They're both like, please give me some, please. So I will. I will give them some. But I hope you guys enjoyed my little story. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed um, what I ate today. Lobster tails. Uh, tell me what you ate with me, if you ate anything. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my Instagram channel at Xenius Cravings. And tell me if you ever tried the ASMR sauce. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.